Welcome to our videos on Online Market Research 101. Our eighth video covers the Google Toolbar and Page Ranking. An interesting tool for getting an idea of what Google thinks of a site is the Google Toolbar. You can get it by going to the Google site and search for Google Toolbar. The actual address is google.toolbar.com. You can install it both for Mozilla Firefox and Internet Explorer. It works for both of those browsers. So, let's download. OK. Accept the terms and conditions. OK. And install now. And it's done. So I need to restart the browser to have it really installed, and then I'll demonstrate how it works. OK, my browser has restarted. Select your search sites. Let's stick with Google.com. OK, use Google's default search engine. Yes. Allow downloads from Google. I'm not entirely sure what that means, so actually I'll untick both of these examples for now. I might change my mind about that later. OK, this is important. Page rank. You want to enable page rank. Then let's finish. So here's the toolbar. Now let's go back to the Google front page and type in our search term again and type in buy golf balls and search. And let's go to a site. Let's go to onlygolfballs.com. Let's try them. OK, what I'm demonstrating here is what is known as page rank. If you hold your mouse over it, it tells you that the page rank is 4 out of 10. Basically, the higher the number, up to 10 out of 10, the more prestige or credibility the site has in Google's eyes. This is calculated again by one of Google's private algorithms, but it's essentially calculated by the number of links pointing to the site and the prestige of those links. For example, is it the New York Times pointing to the site, or the BBC, or CNN? So essentially, the higher the number, the more prestigious the site in Google's eyes. Generally, as a rough approximation, the higher the number, the more traffic the site gets through Google, because Google, and maybe other sites, think of it more highly. So that's something to bear in mind of how Google thinks about your potential competition. I'm not going to get into the mechanics of search engine optimization, but you may find this useful for considering whether you can compete against this site. If you're experienced at search engine optimization, beating a page rank of 4 should be pretty easy for you. But beating a page rank of 6 or 7, you may find more of an uphill struggle. OK, let's get back and try a couple more sites out of interest. Best for balls. Let's try them and a page rank of 4 as well. One more. I love to golf.com. Let's try them. And now we have 3 out of 10. OK, interestingly, I've also gone to golfballs.com, which you would imagine would be one of the leading sites in the market. And even they only have a page rank of 5. So there don't seem to be many sites with very large page rankings in this market, at least from among my initial searches. Clearly, that's something you may want to consider. Google doesn't seem to want to rate these sites as highly as they do some other sites, and if you're experienced at search engine optimization, you might find them fairly easy to beat in that regard. But you might want to take page rank somewhat with a pinch of salt. But 
it maybe gives you a broad overview of what Google thinks of a certain site. Now to round out this video, let me go to one final site, to Titleist, which is, I believe, the leading manufacturer of golf balls and some other golf equipment. And even they only have a page rank of 5. So, no huge page ranks in this market. And as you leave the toolbar installed and browse different sites, you'll see it changes as you visit each site and even as you visit different pages within a site. If I click through here, it changes, and you see that this page has a page rank of 3 rather than the page rank of 5 for the home page. So anyway, it will keep changing, and you'll get an idea of different sites and page ranks and how Google sees different sites and pages. I'm quite surprised at how low these page ranks are, and you'll see on other sites that rankings of 6, 7, or 8 aren't all that uncommon. It's just another useful tool in your arsenal for doing market research into your competition.